Welcome back. Time now is 540. Travel in Mid Michigan. This time to Frankenmuth. Yes, we're How exciting. We're heading to the Frankenmuth <laughs> Brewery. It's the second oldest brewery in the country. Oh wow! But I've got to tell you, we had a lot of fun there for the day. Welcome to Frankenmuth and the Frankenmuth Brewing Company. Inside here, the brewing process for beer begins. Come on in. We're going to show you how to make some beer. Well, this is kind of like the brains of the operation, and we control it all from here. Obviously, this council from uh, the original brewery has been retrofitted with electronics to allow us to move through the steps of the process of brewing. Right now, we're uh, using malted barley, and uh, we're starting the process of mashing in. Mashing in is just simply in the brewery industry where we take the grain, we mix it with hot water, and we cook it for uh, 60 minutes. The enzyme action in the hot water activates the enzymes in the barley. The starches are converted to sugars. It's the sugars that we ferment and turn into alcohol. Then we transfer it to the last container, which is the whirlpool, because we want to whirlpool out uh, the hops and then chill it immediately and send it out to the fermentation building. This is the Fort Knox of the brewery. <laughs> My job is I get to come out here every day, test the beers, you know, I mean, check them out. Ales will sit in here 14 days. Lagers will sit in here about 25 days. We continue to test the gravity of the beer, and the reason we do that is we want to make sure that it's moving along and fermenting in the way and manner in which it's supposed to be fermenting. And as you can see, the fermentation on this is going pretty good. Give it a whirl. You just pounded the beer on TV, <laughs> man. <laughs> People are coming back to wholesome, traditional, uh, quality products and the response from the locals, the tours, as well as uh, throughout the state of Michigan has been overwhelmingly uh, pleasant. Frank and Moose is a food capital of Michigan. Yeah. So now your challenge is to put something on the menu that's a little bit off the beaten path. I talked to Jeff the Brewer, got his flavor profile. It's you know very eclectic and people seem to have a good response to it. Now that it's all been brewed, it all ends right here. We're traveling mid Michigan in Frankenmuth. I'm Brian Hughes, NBC 25 News. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We had a great time at the Frankenmuth Brewery. By the way, they've got a new program that's just starting up as we go to this winter season. If you want to be a brewmaster for a day, you can learn, <coughs> excuse me, how to make the brew, and you can go with them through the day as they make the brew and then as you, after you get it all cooked up and ready to go and it's headed into the chiller, you can then come back once it's fermented in 14, 25 days.